hours, but we took 17 hours instead. It's the Taj Mahal! It's my first time and I'm super excited. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. It was built by Shah Jahan, who built it for his dead wife, mm. who he loved the most. We decided to stay somewhere a little bit nicer. It's a lot nicer! <laughs> Crystal Sarova premiere and there's a view of the Taj Mahal right outside the window. And we have a rooftop swimming pool. <laughs> We're now at Fatepu Sikri. Fatepu is a holy site where Sikri is the palace of Akbar and his three wives. So what's interesting is that the three wives were Christian, Muslim and Hindu. And the Hindu wife was Akbar's favourite wife and she lived right here in this palace. He tried to unite all the major religions into one religion that is under one God. really interesting cafe in Agra. It's called Shiro's Hangout. They are a social enterprise that empowers women of acid attacks. The food is really good. It's pay as you wish, so you make a donation at the end of your meal. You can also purchase one of their artworks to support them. We're walking up this entranceway towards Agra Fort and something interesting here is that it was a defense system for the enemies in the past. So yeah, they would pour boiling hot oil, throw stones down and the ecosystem apparently confuses the animals. <laughs> this is the Musaman Burj. It's probably the most beautiful prison that you've ever seen because Shah Jahan was placed under house arrest by his son during the last eight years of his life. We're now at the Matab Bar, one of the most popular places in Agra to watch the Taj Mahal during sunset. It's our last night in Agra and Ian has decided to extend the trip and explore Jaipur on her own. India is quite easy to navigate because most people speak English and safety wise, I mean it's nicer surely but I think I'll manage fine on my own. For our first city, Lucknow, it was quite a culture shock in the beginning but it's really an undiscovered gem. My personal favourite, the old city of Chok. Varanasi is super spiritual but I was quite surprised that it's actually very real and authentic. People are just doing their own thing by the Ganges River. And it's actually a very comfortable place for travellers to get around. Yeah, Agra is of course. The Taj Mahal is like one of the seven wonders of the world. When I saw the real thing, it's so much better than what you see in pictures and I just want to stay there forever. The history behind places like Agra Fort. Really deepened my understanding about Indian history and culture. I really fell in love with it. Okay, biggest question. Would you come again? Of course, yes. And I'll probably bring my family and my friends, but maybe not during the hot season. Bye.